Hey y'all and welcome back to my kitchen. Today y'all I'm going to show you how to make these yummy strawberry biscuits. I'm making these for my friend for her birthday. So let's go in the kitchen. I'm going to show y'all how easy these are, okay? Okay guys, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, stick of butter. It's really, really cold. And just on the largest side of your box grater, we're just going to grate it like you would cheese. And sorry, i got to turn it this way, but maybe you can see. And you're just going to rub it like that, just like you would cheese. Just till you get the whole stick of butter grated. And then that's what you got. See there? Isn't that cool? Alright, so let me grate this and then I'll show you what we got. Okay, so now in this bowl we've got our self-rising flour. And we're going to add just a little bit of sugar. And then we're going to take that grated butter and we're going to stir it in there. Throw that out of there. We don't need that. I'm going to just give this a good little toss around to coat all that butter. Just like that. All right, and now we've got all that butter coated with the flour, we're gonna take our cup of chopped strawberries and put those in, and I'm gonna go in here and get them all because we don't wanna waste anything. And then we're just gonna give this a toss around, okay? And then I'm gonna pop this in the freezer for about 15 minutes, and then we'll finish up our biscuits. Okay, so now this has been in the fridge for about 15 minutes. We're just gonna make us a little, kind of a well there in the center, okay? And then you're going to get you some good buttermilk. This is local to me from Riverbend. That's local to me. And then we're going to just pour that buttermilk right in the center. Now that we've got the buttermilk right in the center, we're just going to kind of stir everything together till we get sort of a, a rough dough that comes together. And I'm going to try my best not to sling this all over the kitchen. But you know what? It's okay. Okay, there we go. Yep, see, that's okay. Just keep stirring. Sometimes you have to tilt the bowl to kind of scrape the bottom. And you know what? This feels just a little bit dry to me. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take that buttermilk. And y'all, I don't have an exact measurement for this. I'm just going to add about that much. That was probably, I don't know, a teaspoon or two. But you don't want it so dry that it won't hold together. If you've ever made biscuits, you kind of know what I'm talking about. You have to just kind of eyeball it sometimes till it comes together. See, it's still really crumbly and really dry, especially right here. So I'm going to add a little bit more. That was probably a good tablespoon or so. And now let's see what that does. Yeah, there we go. That's looking better. See there? Now it's not as crumbly. Alright, so now I'm going to turn it out on my countertop and we're going to knead it a couple of times till it comes together. Okay, so you just want to take a little bit of flour down on the counter and this is just to prevent it from sticking, okay? And then we're just going to dump this whole bowl of dough down on that flour, just like that. And then I like to sprinkle a little bit on top and I put a little bit on my hands. Y'all, I didn't say this was neat, did I? This is messy stuff. And by the way, my oven's at 350 already and it's already preheated. And all you're going to do is just kind of flatten this. And then you're going to fold it and you're going to flatten it and you're going to fold it. And you see how I'm kind of rotating around this little bit too? And if it gets a little sticky... Then we can always come in here with a little bit more flour and just add a little bit on top because you don't want it so sticky that it sticks to you and the counter and everything. You want it to hold together and not be crumbly, but it don't need to stick to everything. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. There we go. And what's your, see there how it's stuck? That's what we don't want. Okay. We'll put a little bit of flour right there and then we can roll that back in it <laughs> and then we can pick all that up there we go all right sorry that was the dogs we got i got the back door open today because it's nice outside and they're kind of running in and out being crazy okay so there we go now we're going to just pat this out a little bit more and then i'm going to use my cookie cutter and we'll cut them out Okay, I've got me a cookie sheet back here with parchment paper on it. I'm doing my cookie cutter. There it is, my biscuit cutter rather. This is about three inches around. 
my blank. My blank's wanting to come in here and see what's up. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of flour right there, and we're gonna dip that cook the biscuit cutter in the flour. I think that still needs to go down just a little. There we go. And then here's what we're gonna do. Okay, you're just gonna cut these into biscuits. Be sure not to cut down and twist. Okay, straight down, and I like to pull mine out, and I gotta show y'all. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Okay, so we'll put that over here. And then I like to dip back in the flour in between just to prevent them from sticking. But y'all, look at that. These are going to be gorgeous. All right, let me get the rest of these cut out, and then I'll show you what they look like on the tray. Okay, so I got all these cut out, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, this turns into a sticky mess on your hands, so I had to go wash before I could show y'all these beautiful biscuits. What? Okay, so let me clean this mess up so that I can set this tray down here, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so now that we've got all these rolled out, I've got just a little bit of buttermilk and a pastry brush, and you don't need but just a couple tablespoons, and y'all, all we're going to do is sling it all over the pan. No, all we're going to do is brush the tops of these with a little bit of this buttermilk, okay? And this is going to give it a good flavor. It's going to help them brown and just make them so, so good. And if I had it, which I don't, I might even put a little bit of coarse sugar on top, but I don't have any, so, you know, we'll save that for next time, I guess. And, you know, I was just thinking about something. I bet, hmm, y'all, we might be on to something here. I bet we could do these with peaches on into the summer, y'all, and have peaches and cream biscuits. What? Okay. All right, I'm going to tell you where I got this. I found this recipe on White Lily's Instagram page. So if you don't follow White Lily over there on Instagram, you need to because this recipe is over there. Um, it's where I got it. But, I will, you know, I always list out all the directions. Look, i got buttermilk on my hand. Um, all the directions and the ingredients and all that stuff in the description of the video. So, okay, into the oven we go, okay? These are going to go in the 350-degree preheated oven. And it's going to go in there for about 12 to 15 minutes or until they're all nice and golden brown and delicious. So we'll see y'all in a few, okay? Okay, I told y'all wrong. These are going to go in a 450 degree preheated oven for 12 to 15 minutes until they're all nice and golden brown and delicious. That 100 degrees would have made a huge difference and we would have had a mess. They would have still probably been okay, but 450 for biscuits is much better than 350. So, okay, 450, 12 to 15 minutes. We'll see you in a few. All right, while those are baking, let's talk about the icing that's going to go on top, okay? I'm going to do two different things because I want to see which one I like better. The first one is the classic little icing. I've got powdered sugar. we got a little bit of milk, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of lemon zest. So let's make that one first. Okay, so let's make the standard powdered sugar one first. So I got my powdered sugar here, and I'm going to... Okay, so I zested that lemon, but I'm going to save a little bit for the other icing we're going to do, okay? So I'm just going to use this part. That's, what, maybe a teaspoon or so? I don't know. Y'all, I don't measure a whole lot of things. I will set that back there for a second. Now, it says milk. Y'all know I'm a little extra when it comes to things. This is heavy cream, okay? I'm making these for my best girlfriend for her birthday, so yeah, we're going to use the good stuff. And then we're going to use just a little bit of this lemon juice. Again, I'm going to save a little bit of it for that other glaze, and we'll see. <laughs> good heavens. You know, if I didn't make a mess, I wouldn't know what to do. Okay, see how clumpy that is? We need some more juice. Come on, juice. There we go. Now, let's see what we got. That looks a little better. And you want it to be drizzle consistency. So as you can see, that is totally not. So let me get all this out of here. And I'm going to add just a smidge more juice, I think. Because that's pretty thick. Let's see if that does the trick. I'm going to use this little spatula. There we go. Now... Here's what you're looking for. That right there. See that? That's perfect. Okay. So now, these biscuits are just about to come out of the oven. So let's set this one aside. 
and we're going to make that other glaze I told you about. Okay, so here comes the other glaze. Now, this is a product you are going to have to order unless you are local to her, and she is in, I think, Nevada. I'm not real sure, but me being in North Carolina, I had to order this, and yes, I paid for this. It's not sponsored, but y'all, she makes flavored powdered sugar. So this is strawberry. She has a chocolate. She has blueberry. She has lemon, orange, almost any flavor you could ever want. So we're going to do our other glaze with this strawberry powdered sugar. Okay. Okay. So I've got just about a cup here and we're going to add a little bit of heavy cream. I'm going to add just that little smidge. That's maybe a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. And I'm going to, where's my other spatula? And then I'm going to add just that little bit of lemon zest. And this is going to be like a strawberry lemonade kind of glaze. Okay. And I think it's going to be pink. Which my best girlfriend, since it's her birthday, is really going to like it. Because she likes pink. Okay, we need a little bit more liquid. Look how pretty that is, y'all. What? Look at that. Oh, y'all, we might have to use both of these. Oh, I'm excited. Right, let me get just a smidge more liquid. There we go. Perfect. All right, so let's get these biscuits out of the oven, and then we'll glaze them and see what we think, okay? Oh, my word, y'all. Are y'all ready? What? Y'all look at those biscuits. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. So, I'm going to let these cool just a couple of minutes, um, just till the real heavy heat gets off of them, and then we'll glaze them up, okay? Y'all, I can't even believe I about forgot this step. I need, you just need a little bit of melted butter. This is just about two tablespoons. And as soon as these biscuits come out of the oven, <laughs> yes, ma'am, that's what we're doing. I mean, it is for my girlfriend's birthday after all, so, you know, they need butter. And y'all, I'm sorry, Michael's in a meeting. He's talking in the background. And the dogs are barking. Yeah, it's just kind of a busy day around here. Y'all, these things are gorgeous. I wish y'all could smell them. I don't know why I'm singing. Probably because these biscuits make me happy. Alright. So now, we're going to glaze them up, okay? Alright, so we're going to do this lemon glaze first. Okay, and I've got my little popping bag. Can y'all see that? I'm just going to take this little tip right here. And then I'm just going to cut just the tip of that. Maybe not. Just the tip of that bag off. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do half of them in this lemon glaze. And then we'll do the other half in the strawberry. And here's what we're going to do. Y'all, are you kidding? Look how pretty that is. Look at that. And this little one's for me and Michael. Or probably just for Michael. Are you kidding? And you can go, <laughs> you can go as heavy or as not with the glaze as you want to. Okay? Come here, biscuit. And yeah, I talk to my biscuits every once in a while. Alright, so how many we got? Let's do one more with the lemon and then we'll do the rest of those in the strawberry. What do y'all think? Would this not be beautiful for breakfast? Look at that. They're gorgeous. All right, let me get the strawberry one. Okay, same thing. I got my strawberry one. Oh, y'all. I love this one. Look how pretty that is. It's sliding off. Oh, no. It's okay. It'll be fine. Look at that, though. Are you kidding? What best friend would not like these for her birthday, you know? Okay. All right, so I'm going to let these cool, and then I'm going to plate them up, and I'll show you what we look like. And I'll, you know, I'll probably at least show you the inside of one of them. Because she's not going to get all these, but don't tell her, okay? All right, all right I told y'all these were easy, right? All right, so here we go. I'm going to show you what they look like on the inside. Look at that pretty glaze, though. So this is the powdered sugar lemon glaze, and I've got some of these pink ones that are the strawberry glaze. But I'm going to show y'all what the inside looks like here. And look how soft they are. Oh my goodness. I mean, who wouldn't want that for your birthday? 
or for any day. I hope y'all love this. Go make you some strawberry biscuits and uh, make sure you like and subscribe to see all the yummy things we've got coming at you. And I'll see y'all next time and we'll make something else yummy. Bye y'all.